Okay. Good day, YouTube. My name is Gary, and I'm the founder of Creator Academy. Great Academy is based in Sydney, Australia, and uh, we're dedicated to teaching kids science and technology. So uh, if you are around Australia, do hang around uh, and say hi to us in any of our four education centers. So today we're going to look at using Python to control this. This is the Lego Education Spike Prime Hub. Uh, it is using a a uh, micro Python processor, which means that we're going to be able to access it uh, with a certain set of tools. And uh, we're going to be able to give it some very simple commands. And today we're going to learn how to do uh, some very, very simple exercises uh, using Python, okay? So today make sure that uh, this, this tutorial is gonna be done using a Windows computer. Uh, I might do one with Mac OS at another day. Um, make sure you have your Spike Prime hub with you and make sure you have the USB cable that comes with your Spike Prime so that we can connect it. And if you are interested in our classes, make sure you do go to our website, okay? It's www.creatoracademy.com.au and then there you can scroll down to see all the cool things that we do uh, for our students and you can also see some webinars there that you can um, uh, uh, subscribe and sign up for our online learning courses. We've got lots of introduction to Python courses, we've got Python apps and interactivity, we've got Python game projects, and we've got Scratch as well. Depending on the age of your, your students, uh, you might want to do Scratch, you might want to do Python. We also have some really cool robotics uh, and, and coding tutorials as well. So make sure you do check us out at www.creatoracademy com.au. So today we're going to, like I said, we're going to access this brick. Now, I'm going to start off by saying that uh, I did a video uh, a while back that was comparing um, the pros and cons between Spike Prime and EV3. One of the big ones that I really liked for, lot right, really liked EV3 for, was the ability to code in Python. Um, and uh, the Python feature for Spike Prime hasn't been officially unveiled yet. So uh, what we're going to do is a little bit of an unofficial way of uh, accessing the MicroPython processor uh, until LEGO releases a, a proper development environment for it. Okay, so uh, this is what you need. And uh, another thing that you'll need is PuTTY. Okay, so if you're using Windows, we're going to download Putty. So you go over here, go putty.org. And then we go to download Putty. You know, the first thing that you see, download Putty here. And then we download the correct version based on your operating system. So I'm using Windows 10, so I need the 64-bit installer. Click on that. And then you're going to see, um, hold on, I'll just make sure that I'm sharing the correct screen. So after you've installed it, now we're going to have to run the file. So click on the file. And then I hope you can see this installation screen because sometimes the screen sharing doesn't share these screens, but I'm going to install this setup wizard. Go, Next, now we go, make sure that you save it in the right directory, you go next. And then uh, all these default items that go install. Then I go agree with anything that pops up. I need to read the readme file. That's it, finish, install putty. All right, so uh, now that we have putty installed, uh, let's, Let's try to do something cool. So I need to go to start. And then I'm going to look for putty. So I'm going to scroll down to P, putty 64 bit, and then run putty. This is what you'll see. It's putty configuration. At this point, you can probably now um, attach your hub to the USB. Here we are.
Okay. Now that we're attached, now in putty, uh, we got SSH highlighted as this on this radio button. We need to select serial. Select serial, and then it says COM1. So this is the communication port at which it's starting to look for your device. But we're not sure if we are connected to COM1 or not. So we need to go look for it. So inside in Windows, you can go down to the bottom here to search for your device manager. Okay, so DEVI device manager, which is usually in your control panel. And then you go down to ports. And then you'll see I have a USB serial device in COM8. Now, I don't have any other USB devices connected. So COM8 is most likely our, uh, where our Spike Prime hub is. So just got to remember it's in COM8. So I go back into PuTTY. So COM8, so it changed from COM1 to COM8. And then for speed, we go 115, 200. That's the board speed. And then we press open. And then you'll see all these numbers start popping up. So what are these numbers? These are the sensor readings that are coming out of your Spike Prime Hub. Just notice on the right hand side here where it's got the 1000s, negative 1000s. If I rotate the hub around, you'll see these numbers start to change. Okay, So I would assume that these are my accelerometer readings. So in, to interrupt this so that we can start coding, we go control C. So one finger on the control and then C on the other. And that's how we uh, stop it. And now we can start to access some code. So first little simple exercise, we can go import hub. Now this is really important because if you don't use this line, then you're not going to be able to access the uh, um, hub commands. So import hub, then we go hub dot display dot show open parentheses open quotation marks hello from Raider Academy and before I hit the enter button I'm just going to show you this screen so that hopefully you will see that it's going to start saying hello from Creator Academy. Okay. So that's that's it. That's how you uh, do a very very simple um, uh, simple command to show a message on your uh, Spike Prime Hub. What else can we do? Well, um, I'm glad you asked because I'm sure you have a billion questions right now. What else can we do? Well, we can go hub dot. Actually, I'll show you like this. I'll show you so it's a little bit larger. So we go hub dot, uh, and then we're not sure what commands there are. So we hit tab. After you hit tab, you'll see um, all this kind of stuff we did. See how we had display before? There's display there. So we go hub dot. And then I can go uh, temperature. Dot. And then I go tab again. Because, uh, oh, it says it's a class. So maybe that means that I can go like this, open, close parentheses, and then you can read the hub's temperature, 26.8 degrees. Very nice. What else can I do? Well, I can go up, dot, motion, dot, and then tab. What else is there? Mm, let's do orientation. Orientation. Dot. And then I go tab. Oh, it's another function. So go open and close parentheses. Now it says it's up, which is kind of cool because um, my 
my hub is, is standing up. So I wonder if my down, it's going to show something different. So now I go up dot motion dot orientation. Now it says front. Okay, so that's kind of cool, right? Put it on the side. Left side. Okay. And that's it. You have now made your first forays into connecting your Spike Prime hub with, uh, with Python. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or post it in the comment section below. Okay. Uh, until next time, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.